An ancient song repeating, never changing, haunting melody. Leviathan sounding deep below the surface, the rhythms of the sea. Ocean song to set us free, the rhythms of the sea. Hear the voice and jazz me free. I'm live with right here in uh, North Fort Lauderdale, painting my last wall in America. This is Wailing Wall 99, and uh, this is the celebration of the International Year of the Reef. And we're going to have the mangroves all the way to the sandy bottom, all the way to the deep ocean and the coral reefs. Everything connects. So uh, art can play an important role in conservation of uh, clean water and healthy ocean. And uh, we're going to prove it this week in North Lauderdale. What's the timetable? The timetable is seven days. Uh, when you work for free, you got to work fast. So this is my 99th ball, my gift to the world, and uh, public art for public cause. Well, this is a unique one because it's 10 feet high and very long. It's so yeah, most of mine are very high. This is a very long one. It's a thousand feet long. But that gives me the idea to, to talk about how the mangroves connect to the sea and the reefs and everything is important. We need to protect it all. So, yeah, it's a unique shape, but that's the great thing about painting murals. They're not perfect canvases. They all have their own characteristics. Uh, when it's all done, it'll be kind of a pedestrian walk and you'll be immersed in it. And that's my goal. And it'll last a long time. I hope it'll last a long time and I hope the uh, message lasts forever. Thank you. I'll be following this along. Good job. Wyland at the North Waterdale Wailing Wall number 99. This is Ken English with the Blue Green Network. I'll be filing reports throughout the week. I think in the new world order, I think it's very important, the, the, the contrast. And uh, contrast of color, people, race, culture, and everything. And I think when we put all this together, you can always have a beautiful thing. You're going to have not a melting pot, but a salad, which each one of the ingredients, you know, have, you know, they, you know, they hold their own, you know, character and uh, characteristics. And I think, you know, doing this with Waylon here, um, this mural, I think it's so inspiring. It's all about nature about you know South Florida what what which is so important for us to preserve and uh, and for us to enjoy and I hope that you know art can always stimulate people to uh, pay attention to simple and good things in life that we live every day here in South Florida and around the world I think you know the you know the animals the nature you know need our support and our caring and I'm really honored and proud to be here today so basically that's it last question how did you come to to be here. I mean, was it, who took the initiative to incorporate your, your your whimsical and very popular art into something that is seen as more of an environmental or an eco art format? I think Ryan he invited me, and uh, and I thought you know I got an invitation. I like his work. I like nature, as I said, and I think it's a worthwhile you know you know setting. So I came over. I live in South Florida. Whatever I can do to you know, to bring colors, you know, around this community, I will. So I came over with, a, with an invitation, a very kind one, so I'm here. I'm now heading back to my studio, and I have all the stuff that I have to go on and, and do it. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Romero, Romero Brito at the Wailing Wall, number 99 of Wyland, McNabb, and Pine Island Road in North Waterdale, Florida. This is Ken English. Let it go, let it flow Feel the morning sun As daylight comes Warming slow And it makes grass grow 
Love all surrounding harmony. Yes, this is being recorded now. I'm with Guy Harvey at the White Island Wheeling Wall 99 in North Waterdale, Florida. Guy, uh, oftentimes artists don't collaborate like this. This is uh, unusual because the Island hasn't had artists of other uh, at other walls, I don't believe. What does it mean to you to do this? Why is it important? Uh, not just the painting of it, but the message of the wall itself. Well, this is the, the first wall I've done with Wyland. Um, he's invited me to, to do many over the last uh, ooh, seven or eight years, and uh, it's always been a great deal of fun. Um, we get in front of a lot of people. It's, it's, it's great entertainment. Um, Wyland is, is such a character in his own right, and he's very entertaining during the time it, it takes to complete a wall. And it's no mean feat, you know. If it, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. But uh, he's been very gracious, and I come and help him out with you know, some of the things that I'm, I'm uh, known for, which are, you know, larger coral reef fish and larger game fish. And it always adds a, a new element to the wall. And um, the, the walls, of course, are about marine life generally, so we include every facet of marine life. This wall, the focus is on shallow waters, it's on the mangrove area, it's on the shallow reef scenes. And so we're painting all the animals that dwell in those areas. And we're bringing uh, it to everybody's attention driving by the need for more concern about the shallow water marine environment. After all, it's the coastal habitat that we directly impact by our very presence, by our development, by our pollution, by our boating activities, and our harvesting activities. So this just brings everything above the surface for everybody to look at, and we're going to get through as many species as possible. Well, Scott, the Cayman Islands Department of Tourism is sponsoring some of the internet radio that I'm doing. Uh, so on behalf of the Cayman Islands, would you say a, a few words about why those islands are so important? The Cayman Islands, uh, not only is a wonderful place to live, but I find it very inspiring living so close to the ocean. Uh, they're very proactive when it comes to conservation, for good reason. It's a very small place. It's still very pristine. We have a lot of divers and uh, snorkelers who come there every year to, to swim and enjoy the pristine environment of the Cayman Islands. And the tourism department is, does a great job of A, selling the destination, and the Department of Environment does a great job in keeping it the way it is. I'm, I'm proud to be, to be a part of their community. Um, I've added a gallery there, and I'm, I'm still very confident about the, the socio-economic scene in Cayman Islands. It's, uh, it's a very positive place. Large and small, we must now hear the call. Join together, one and all, protect our planet. Today, we must not only see the planet with our eyes, but with our hearts. <laughs>